<laughs> Literally, I in, in Generation 5, I kind of only knew the ones I kind of liked. The other ones were roadkill. <laughs> like, now, I'm just looking at the new ones and just thinking, pure roadkill. I, I'm, I'm definitely looking at Froki. I'm actually looking at, like, the new 3D one, and I'm going, you know what, I, this is the first Pokemon since, like, Ruby and Sapphire I'm genuinely looking forward to. Yeah, it's mainly the, like, new graphics, it's like taking a step above, like, a 2D sprite running around. That's, me, what, that's it, what interests me. For me, it's not just that, for me it's also the fact that, like, the last series ditched the old Pokemon and it's made me appreciate them more. Mm. So. Maybe that's what it was all for. Maybe the fifth gen <laughs> wasn't supposed to be there, but they just wanted us to love what we already had. Ah. Uh, Message of the day. Fuck. It's beautiful. Oh what? Oh. <laughs> Message of the day. Oh god, yeah. Don't look at the message of the day. <laughs> oh dear. Oh god. We haven't changed that in ages. Yeah, that needs to change. No, why, why would we change that? That we, that should stay like that forever. See, I kind of want to look at it right now to see what it is, but I'd have to like blow it out. Which I'm not yeah. actually what? sure how to do. I, I'm, I'm group leader on everything. I might be able to change it. Okay. Oh, the missions. Um, all it says is information. We are the next level. Mm. I don't even have any... Uh, the pearls, and I'm in the K Mount Moon. Oh, okay. Um, now Ugh. I'll just call a need around level six. <laughs> Are you in there, Chris? No, no. I'm in. I'm in that grass that everyone was like, "Oh, there's nothing in there. Oh, go away." Oh. oh <laughs> no, but we're like at Mount Moon. No, yeah, I think anyway. I'm gonna get need around level ten off screen. Oh, it's naughty. <laughs> I pretty much just came on, uh, came in here because I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure Chris will have charged ahead anyway. I haven't charged that far ahead. I literally just beat the gym and then stopped. Like, you I know just what? Trained, like just EB trained. Cause, I, Cause I'm special. You know, I love you know about what? this cave. You can actually see everything really well. Yeah. You know, what I literally have just noticed. What you um, just noticed? In the fights, they don't actually ask you if you want to swap Pokemon in between. Yeah. I like... That. In a way, that's annoying, but I like it. I kind of like it, but, like, in between the Pokemon, I was like, oh, okay, I should have realized this guy's going to be a Bug-type trainer, so I wanted to, um... Uh, I wanted to switch in Pidgey, mm. but I couldn't. Well, if you ever play multiplayer battles, like actual proper ones, you don't get the option to switch anyway. It's just in, like, the single player on your own yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. I think it and makes the game more challenging, because when you're in the Elite Four, that can really make a difference. Yeah, because when it goes, they're sending out, like, so, say you got an Onyx out, and it's going, oh, they're going to send out Blastoise, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to switch for my um, Venusaur. It can really <laughs> just be... do 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 yeah. something. <laughs> I'm now attempting to scratch a level eleven Weedle with a level six Nidoran. It keeps Fair using enough. string shot, even though it's a lot faster than me. That that's the only thing I don't like about the stats in Pokemon. It's like the speed stat doesn't really do much. It's like. You're either faster than them, or you're not. Trust me, it does. If you can get, like, the first oh, turn... If you get something like Yanma, then there's no way you're not going to be outsped. The only Pokemon I've... Like, I think my fastest ever team I had was in Platinum, actually, and I had a, um... I had a Weavile. They're really quick. Yeah. Black and white, too. And that I... was my fastest team. How far are you in that game? I finished it. I literally just beat the Elite Four, beat the old champion after beating the new one, and then just pushed it aside and started playing this. Oh, it's like, eh, done. Move on. I'll probably start playing it like next week or something. In that game, I really, like, I played, um, I played the first one, 
black and white, and I really overtrained. I think I'd done about three or four badges, and I was already like level 30 odd, and it was getting boring for me, so I just kind of went, you know what, I can't be bothered. Yeah, it's the same sort of thing, I just got bored with it, and I was just like, oh, I, it wasn't fun for me, so I was just like, screw it, and I just yeah. went back on Soul Silver, because I enjoyed that a lot more. Um, because yeah. I. Carry on, Trashy, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Please. I was just going to say, because I got bored of it within a week, it was still worth like 30 quid trading, so... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I've actually enjoyed Black and White 1 and 2 a lot more than Diamond. That can go to hell. We haven't talked about that at all, so... Talk about <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm just a hater. I enjoyed Diamond. It personally. wasn't horrible. I, yeah. I thought it was just like the beginning of the end, because Bidoof, Bidoof everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> Bidoof sucks. At least in this game, they don't, like, Ruby and Sapphire, they didn't throw a zigzagoon at you every ten areas. Yeah. Like, um, I can't remember what I really hated the most about it. Um, like, some of my favourite Pokemon of all time actually come from that generation, like, Glade. Paragon Z and stuff. I remember but... Chachi, me and you were obsessed with Mine Jr. and Bonsai. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I absolutely love Mine Jr. I think he's brilliant. I, I just didn't like the story that much, because there wasn't that much going on. Team Galactic. Like, like, what? They, they were the first ones to actually be a sinister. Actually, no, no. I, I lie. Actually, no, no, I'm right. They're the first sinister evil team ever. The idea of the storyline seemed too, like, over the top, like, epic to be a Pokemon game. Like, yeah. summoning a demonic Pokemon from an out of Summoning dimension. God! Yeah. Yeah, and then summoning fucking God from, like, playing a flute. Yeah. I never never time much. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I I enjoyed it personally, but um, you you say like they're the first team to be really sinister. If you watch the black and white anime, um, Team Rocket have actually got really darn sinister in that. It's, yeah, I, th I think they're trying to bring them back. Maybe in this next one coming. It's like Jesse, Jesse and James. They're they're like same old, same old, really. Although I don't think I've seen them blast off once in the series. But um, That's the best thing. Yeah. That was such an innuendo. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't blasted off in a while. Yeah. But I, I think there was um, this moment. Um, like, there's this weird professor, and for some god knows what reason, he's now, like, the brains of the whole operation, and he is really fucking just mental and sinister, and you don't expect it from him. <laughs> Uh, I've seen like a tiny bit of the new series, but like not proper episodes. I yeah, thought the guy yeah. with the green hair was actually a woman when I first saw it. Same. Like my sister saw like an advert for it while she was watching TV once. She sent me a link to a, the advert on like YouTube, and we were like, "What the hell is that traveling with like a green-haired Misty, <laughs> like some random hippie chick with huge hair?" He's dressed up like a bitch. Well, no, yeah. I don't mean that. He sounds like a bitch. He's just like, you're the guy in the apron. Do stuff for us. <laughs> I I, I kind of watch it on and off, but um, oh, Pidgey's evolving. That's good. Yeah. Um, but um, it, it's just like the type of thing where I watch it. I check the character bio, see if there's been any new evolutions, whether he's caught new in any new Pokemon, and I'll just like watch it. Um when he gets to Pokemon League, and then I'll be like, yeah, that yeah, was okay. Yeah, always an exciting bit in the old series, like when he gets to the League and stuff. Yeah. But I like the fact that he lost in the League every time. He's never properly won it, apart from, um, like, spoiler closest... alert. <laughs> um, I think the closest that? he got was in Hoenn. He got to um, second place. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Also, and... because I like you say... Spoiler alert, when that was like, what, some seven, yeah. eight years ago? <laughs> but nostalgia, man. Pe people, like children, might be looking at It's like telling monsters. someone Snape killed Dumbledore now. Uh, 
<laughs> Toby! I have no idea! What is wrong with you? Actually, that's the thing. Cameron has not read Harry Potter. Wait, he's like the biggest book reader I know. Like, he, he, he read The Hunger Games and he enjoyed that. Hell, if he enjoyed Hunger Games, read Harry Potter. I, know. I love them books so much. Also, if people don't know who Cameron is, that's Robert Mallet. <laughs> yeah, just mentioning everyone. Advertising! Advertising, notifying of like who someone is. Yeah, I'm, I'm just yelling advertising so then viewers know that we're advertising. <laughs>